Are you wondering if you are serving your client too much or too little food at each meal? Are you looking for easy ways to size up the portions to help your clients eat healthier? In this video, you will learn about proper serving sizes, so you'll easily know what the right amount of food is for your clients. Easier for you and healthier for them. Let's get started. Portion sizes make a difference. Goal. At the close of this video, caretaker will be able to serve the right amount of food to promote optimal weight and health for their clients. Objectives for this video. Be able to describe the importance of portion control. Understand different portion diet orders. Practice good portion control using the right tools and information. Let's begin by discussing the top three reasons why this topic is so important. One, nutrient requirement and client satisfaction. Two, regulation compliance. Three, control cost and minimize waste. Nutrient requirement and client satisfaction. Depending on a person's age, sex, and activity level, the amount of calories and nutrients required will vary from person to person. The important thing for you to remember is that by serving the correct portion, you can better assist your clients in meeting their nutritional needs. In addition, your clients will likely feel more physically and emotionally satisfied after mealtime if they have the right amount of food. If you are not quite sure how much food to serve, ask your healthcare professional, the client's physician, or dietitian for more specific information. Regulation Compliance Serving the right amount of food is also about staying in compliance with government regulations. Licensed homes, daycares, and home health agencies that receive funding from the government must follow certain types of rules and regulations. Providing clients well-balanced and nutritious meals is one of them. These requirements are based off the USDA dietary guidelines and dietary reference intake, all of which are intended to help Americans eat healthier. Cost control. Another reason to follow portion control guidelines is helping caretakers, agencies, and programs to stay within their budget. Serving the correct portion sizes will most likely reduce the incidence of overages or shortages. From a business standpoint, this is an essential piece. So, following the proper portion guidelines is not just about helping your clients meet their nutritional needs. It is also about making sure programs and services are in compliance with government standards and requirements. This will allow the programs and services to be able to continue an important part of managing this program's funds appropriately. Portion Diet Order Now that you understand the importance of portion control, let's take some time to review the three most common portion size diet orders that you'll see in a group home. Regular, also known as the house diet, small and large. The regular, or house diet, refers to a diet order for people with no caloric and dietary restrictions. The regular diet is a medium portion size. Whenever a doctor or registered dietitian does not specify a specific calorie diet, the house diet is the one to follow. A small diet is for people who require a smaller portion, either for their body size or for weight loss purposes. A large diet order is for individuals who need more calories each day to achieve or maintain a certain body weight. All portions for the diet orders can be found in the handout that comes with this video. The chart shown here is a summary. We've provided you with both the summary and the full chart on your handout. The full chart lists the exact serving sizes at each meal. The summary gives an average for the day. Both charts include all food groups. These are fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. The full chart is broken down by breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. Notice that sugar, soda, chips, 
candy and all other sweets are not included in the chart due to these items having a low to zero nutritional value. Be sure to print out a few copies of today's handout and place one on the refrigerator and one in the office. Keep one for yourself. Now that we have learned about the different portion diet orders, let's talk about how we can take this knowledge into practice. The first tip is to use proper tools. Using available tools for measurement will make portion control easy and accurate. This means you can be certain that you're measuring out the correct amount of food for your clients. There are many kinds of measuring devices, including cups, spoons, ladles, spoodles, and scoops. The best ones to use are the portion control serving utensils, which are a combination of a measuring cup and serving device with a handle. When you use the spoodle, you only have to use one utensil. This makes serving easier and cleanup quicker. Typically, serving your client half a cup of food is the same as using a four ounce spoodle a four ounce ladle, or a number eight dish scoop. We highly recommend using these utensils. They make it easier to measure the portion and serve. Having a scale in the kitchen is highly advisable, as this can accurately weigh out foods that don't easily fit into cups or spoons, such as meats and cheeses. Remember, these portion control tools and equipment are meant to measure out foods after they have been cooked, and not when they are raw or uncooked. Making sure your house is stocked with these portion control serving utensils and a food scale will make your job a lot easier. In case you don't have the portion control tools and equipment with you, a convenient way to estimate different amounts of food is using your hand. This may not be the most accurate method, but certainly quite convenient. Try these handy tips to estimate portions. Your fist is about one cup of food. Use your hand to estimate one cup of cereal, one cup of fruit, or one cup of salad, or snack food like popcorn or chips. Half of your fist is about a half a cup of food. This is about the same size as a lacrosse ball. Here is how a half cup of fruit, vegetable, rice, and pasta would look. The size of your palm without the fingers represents the amount of protein that you need at each meal. An average size palm is about three ounces, which is about the size of a deck of cards. Use your whole thumb to estimate one ounce of food for items, like oil, butter, cheese, peanut butter, or mayonnaise. Use your thumb tip to estimate a teaspoon. This is the first joint to the tip of your finger. Hands come in all shapes and sizes. To help you better estimate portions, measure out different foods using measuring cups and spoons first. Then compare these foods with your hand and thumb. That way you can do a better job in estimating portions with your hand. Most importantly, compare your hand to that of your client. So, when you're using your hand to estimate serving sizes, you'll know if you have to adjust up or down to more accurately provide the correct serving for your client. If you're still not sure how to estimate portions, another super easy way to help control the portion is using the plate method. This becomes quite handy when you are taking your client to a restaurant. This is how it works. Divide the plate into four parts. 
two of the parts should be filled with fruits and vegetables, and one quarter of the plate should each be filled with grains and protein. For a house diet, the recommended plate size is nine inches. For someone who is on a small portion diet, use a salad plate or a seven inch plate. An 11 inch plate is reserved for someone who is on a large portion diet. In this video, we provided you with detailed information on portion size diet orders and at least three different ways to measure out and estimate portion sizes. You can use special utensils, your hand, and even specific size plates to serve the right portion to your client. Now that you know some easy steps you can take to practice portion control, you're on your way to mastering this skill for yourself and your clients. For more information, please refer to the handouts that come with this video. Convenience Tips 1. Purchase portion control plates, available in different calorie levels. 2. Purchase the right portion control serving utensils to serve food. 3. Use the plate method or the hand jive method to estimate serving sizes. Budget tip. Follow appropriate portion guidelines and purchase portion control serving utensils to serve the food. Disclaimer, the purpose of this video is to promote broad understanding and knowledge of various nutrition and food-related topics. The information provided in this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare providers with any questions you may have.